So, you've decided to upgrade your PC hardware swag, but can't decide between a pre-built or doing it yourself. Well, rest assured, you have come to the right place for answers. What is going on guys? I am AJ and today I'm going to be discussing the pros and cons of buying a pre-built gaming PC and getting your hands dirty and doing it yourself. So, stick around and let's discuss this. So let's start with the pre-built side of things where we're actually going to cover the two subcategories of pre-builds. The first being the more proprietary side of the equation. Here we have products from companies like Dell slash Alienware and HP. The first and main pro here is no guesswork. A pre-built is exactly what it sounds like, a pre-assembled machine. There's no need to worry about trying to figure out which parts are compatible with what, as we leave that to the many experienced engineers who work for these companies. The machine is simply designed to work right out of the box. This configuration, however, does come with several caveats. Con number one, durability. Now, while the overall quality has improved over the years, let's face it, Manufacturers tend to cut corners, particularly when it comes to components like motherboards and power supplies. You know, the parts that everything's connected to and provides electrical power respectively, which then reduces the overall lifetime of the system. Con number two, limited upgrade path. You're pretty much stuck with the parts that you have. Because the manufacturers may opt for a proprietary design instead of the standard, it can make finding replacement parts in the event of hardware issues inconvenient and costly, since you'd either have to go through the manufacturer themselves, assuming you're still under warranty, or try your luck in the online market. Con number three, design slash thermal performance issues. Pre-builds of this nature tend to have their components clustered in these hot boxes of death. Here's a bright idea. Let's take a bunch of stuff that generates heat and stuff them into a plastic and metal container with one fan where a vent is optional. What was I saying about experienced engineers again? Now let's get into the second subcategory of pre-builds, which is where we find our SIs or system integrator pre-builds. Here we have companies like iBuyPower or MetaPC and Artesian Pills. <laughs> Pro number one, like the previous category, there's no guesswork. But the major difference is that instead of proprietary designs, these companies mostly use standard ATX components, which leaves a clear upgrade path. While this is great, it unfortunately does come with its own set of issues. Con number one, price. When buying a PC from an SI or a third party builder, it usually comes with a premium not to mention shipping costs. Con number two, varying quality. While there are a good number of SIs that set themselves apart by offering high quality builds, some not so much. Looking at you, Walmart. It's best to do earnest research before purchasing so you don't overspend on stuff like this. Now let's get into the more custom side of things. Some of the pros of building your own PC include number one, a wide selection of ATX standard parts, meaning again, your upgrade path is much wider. Number two, the overall experience. If you have made it this far, congrats. That feeling of pride you get when the system you finally got together through all the trials and tribulations manages to post is indescribable. And number three, your PC can be an expression of, well, you. Whether you want a simplistic piece of machinery that will get the job done, or you want to go all out and make a grand statement, it's all up to you. As long as it fits within your budget, that is. But here are some caveats. Number one, while there are many great resources available online for first-time builders, let's face it you're probably going to make mistakes. Hell, even experienced builders make mistakes from time to time that can be either minor, like not making sure everything's plugged in correctly, or not so minor. I heard a little buzzing. I heard a little buzzing like currents going through something, but... Oh, shit! 
And let me put this out there as a side note, builds can be very time consuming. I mean, my first build took me about 14 hours with breaks, of course. But when you factor in having to troubleshoot a build that won't boot because of something that either isn't seated or connected properly, or a part that's DOA, it can be frustratingly time consuming. Con number two, the market. As of the recording of this video, GPU prices are finally starting to come down. While this is great, they are currently still more than their original MSRP. Any shortages that affect hardware manufacturing will affect both the price and inventory, prompting very frustrating delays in most people's building experiences. Speaking of building experiences, let me know about yours in the comments and I'll see you there.